again, I don't need to wear this right now, but uh, soft belt with this belt, uh, elbow sleeves and wrist straps are very good for this event. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is probably the most controversial strongman event for those that have never tried it. Who has seen the CrossFit video where they're doing this and everyone craps their pants or whatnot? Everybody? So if you don't know what this is, it looks terrible. If you're good at it, it looks terrible, but it's still heavy, so it's okay. So the danger that some people see from this is the leaning back and the rowing with the mixed grip. Okay? Can you turn that music down? Okay. So much like the deadlift, we're going to approach the bar shins against the bar. And the point of this, what's up? Okay. The point of this, because the bar is thicker, it's going to be harder when it's heavy to clean it regular. That's a good clean. Yeah. So since it's heavier and it's going to be thicker, the bar does not rotate in your hands. You have to use a mixed grip, get it on your stomach and then into the front rack position. So the colors, Yep. So it doesn't spin in your hand as you rotate. You pretty much have to reverse curl it. So it's very hard on your brachialis and your elbows and other parts of your forearms that I don't know the name of. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> so it's not something you want to do very often. I made the mistake of doing this twice a week for about three months, and it's very stupid. This is like a once every couple months event if you're not competing in it. So what you're going to do, again, much like your deadlift, shins against the bar, bend down with a mixed grip. There's two ways you can do it. You can row it onto your belly, flip your hand around, go like that, or you can do it in midair. That way, that way is a little bit different. Most people don't do it that way, but that's how I do it. The caveat with this is you can't row it and put it on your belt. You will get, uh, you will get told to return to the ground. So again, the two ways to do it, a big mixed grip row onto your belly, hand over like that. This is where it comes in handy, have a little bit of belly. If you have abs, this is going to be tough. The, the more abs you have, the more you're going to have to lean back to create a shelf. So if you have a bit of a gut, you can just stick it right on your gut. Okay? So again, we're going to row it, hand over, and then from here, you can press it, push press it, or jerk it. I believe we have two axles, so let's do women on one, men on the other. Um, let's start with very small jumps, and this is going to be very technical. Split jerking is pretty damn uncommon just because it's inefficient, and with 60 seconds having to reset out of the split, uh -huh. it only takes about five minutes. And another reason for that is the bar is here. It's not in a nice rack position, so when you dip, and it's here, the bar is going to continue to dip. So make yourself as big as you can under this. You don't want to be real close, like a front squat. So make yourself big. Push your lats out. Elbows should be in front of the bar, but down and not like this, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, so let's do doubles, okay? One clean, one overhead, twice, and then switch to the next person. 